welcome back guys today we are going to learn one of the important java question that is solve the fizzbuzz program so what is fizzbuzz if you are going to apply any software engineering role like automation tester or developer so you may face the variation of the fizzbuzz test so this is children's game actually fizzbuzz game is uh, they sit uh, children are sit around and each say the number in sequence if the number is multiple of 3 then the children has to say fizz instead of the number same way if it is a multiple of 5 then the child has to say buzz if it is multiple of both the 3 and 5 then the child has to say fizz buzz so this is the game long back in 2007 one of the professional developer this came into the problem so we have to solve now many top companies are asking this question right let us solve this it's actually straight forward it's uh, uh, let us solve with the using collections right and let us solve and understand the problem first things how many number it has to be suppose now here i am going to go with the 1 uh, to 10 so i can declare a variable in n equal to 10 so now i just go with the 10 later i will change the number and show you the difference so now how this is going to work so now suppose if it is a uh, output should be if first it will go into iterate and the number is 1 so 1 is not multiple by 3 and 5 right so that it should print the 1 the next to 2 2 is also not going to multiple by uh, 3 and 5 so that the number has to print 3 is multiple by 3 right so that we have to instead of 3 what we have to enter we need to go with the fifth the same way if you go to 4 4 is not multiple by 3 and 5 so that we need to enter a 4 only right so this is the way it should go till 10 this is what we are going to do now what we can see we have to go through the loop right So through the loop from one to ten, I can see I will be adding a for loop for n i equal to from start from one i less than equal to n n is a ten n i plus plus. So now I have created a for loop. Now need to check the condition. Let's say if the number is multiple by first we can start from three and five whether this number is multiple by three and five. So now, if so, we have to add a condition. If condition, then i mod three equal to equal to zero. So what is i mod will going to do? This mod operator is going to return you the reminder. When you are dividing, it's going to return you the reminder. So now here I am checking this uh, i i is a first. It is going to start from one one mod three is equal to equal to zero. and we have another condition let's first we are going to check whether the number is multiple by 3 and 5 so that we have to go with i mod 5 equal to equal to 0 if the both the condition is true then it should print it should print the fizz bar so before that what we can do we are going to use the collections right so we can i'll be creating an object of the array list class so we can say list string can give any variable name equal to new array list so here if the condition is true then we are going to add into the list right so now i am saying list dot add here we need to say this bus because both the, this number is multiple by 3 and 5 then we need to add it into the list what we need to add we need to add a fizz buzz right same way we have a another condition so what is that another condition so another condition we can say else if here we need to check i is multiple by 3 the value is multiple by 3 so i can say i mod 3 equal to equal to 0 then we need to add fizz right we need to add a fizz over here if it is multiple by 3 same way we have another condition else if i mod 5 equal to equal to 0 then we have to say list dot add we need to say but right so the same i will go with here 
So now what is the else part? Else part will be if it is not in a three and not, in, not is multiple by five, then you should print the number. So number, it's an integer value. In a list, we have made it as a string, right? So we want to, we are going to add everything is string. So now number, I just wanted to add over there in a list. So for that, what we are going to do, we need to convert this integer number, right? Integer into string. Then we can add it into the list. So how to add? List dot add. Here we have to convert integer dot to string. So here we need to pass a number, right? Because already we have created an object list array list class, right? With that, we have defined the string data type. Now we have added a string data type. Along with the string, we need to add a number as well, right? So the number should be, we need to convert it into the string. Then we can able to add. Finally, we are going to print the list. So we're going to print list. So now let's see how this is going to print. I'll just run this. So now see this is the way it should print. See one, two and it is printing a fifth because this is a three. Here it should come three. Instead of three it's printing a fifth. This is what our expected. Same way if I go with till 15. Right? So now if you take a 15, right? So this is going to be multiple by even three as well, five as well. So this condition is going to be true. So that it should print visible. So let's run this and we'll see. See now 15, it is printed a visible. Remaining is three and five. This is three, this is three, this is five. This is going to be 12 is three, right? So that's what it is printed fizz and wherever it is that multiple by five, it's printed a bar. So if it is multiple by both three and five, then it's a printed fizz bar. This is the way we have to go. I hope this is going to be healthy. Thank you.